am going to be doing a requested video and um, one of my amazing subscribers sent me this request and it was to do an Olivia Palmero makeup tutorial and um, if you guys don't know who she is she used to be on the city um, I think a year ago or two years ago whenever the show was running and I think she always looks great her makeup is flawless and she's always so pretty so I thought it would be really fun to recreate this look and obviously I don't really have her features I don't have her skin tone so I'm not gonna look exactly you know like she does but I think this is pretty close um, as far as the makeup goes and um, yeah I hope that you guys like it and stay tuned if you want to see how I got this look okay so Olivia always has her hair um, dead straight down the middle so what I did was I um, combed it out and then I parted it on the side in the middle and I just curled the ends of my hair because she does have quite curly hair and um, not in the picture that I attached but just in general she normally just curls the ends of her hair and then she like clips them to the side so I've curled my hair okay so I'm gonna start by applying um, my foundation and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer And using one of these brushes is really great because it'll really give you like a flawless finish. Like a very like airbrushed finish. Okay, so now I'm gonna add concealer. I've already done this eye. And I'm gonna put some on my nose. And I'm going to use this brush. It is the MAC 211. And I'm just going to blend all of that in. Okay, so now I have a pretty even skin tone. And I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. Okay, when I'm done with that, I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows. So I'm just going to use um, a lighter color than I normally do. I'm going to use this color right here. And I'm just going to fill in any sparse areas really, really gently. Now I'm going to set all of this foundation that we've put on and I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. I've really been liking this one. Um, this is in medium, but this is a little bit light for me. So I'm going to put this around my eye area and then I'm going to blend this one right here, which is the medium deep and I'm gonna put that to the rest of my face. And her skin is really dewy, so we're not gonna cover the whole face. I'm just gonna do like lightly dust it over. Um, Olivia has the most amazing um, face structure. She has really, really defined cheekbones and if you know, if you don't have that, it's totally fine. We can recreate it. So all you're going to need is um, a deeper shade of foundation or a bronzer, preferably a matte bronzer. I'm going to use the NYX bronzer, and this one is in BB05 DJ Maui. You're also going to need like a angled brush. This one is by Sigma. It's the uh, F84. Okay, it looks crazy, but we're going to blend it in. And then take that color also up into the temples. Now clean your brush off and just blend that in. And 
And to define our jawline, I'm going to take the same, um, use the same method, and I'm just going to bring that underneath the jaw. And just to define the nose a little bit, because her nose is quite defined, um, I'm going to take the same color and quite a, a smaller brush, just like this. And I'm just going to take that right here. So now my face just has a lot more definition. Okay, we're gonna get started on the eyes. Here, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm gonna start by applying the color Naked to my entire lid. And using a large blending brush, I'm gonna blend that in. Okay, now I'm going to use Virgin, and I'm going to put this right underneath my eyebrow and within my tear duct. So when that is on, I'm going to define my eyes, and the way I'm going to do that is by adding a slightly darker color into the crease. And she has the most beautiful eyes, and her eyes are very shaped. So to create this illusion, I'm going to take this color right here, it's called Ruck. And using this brush, I'm going to apply this into my crease. I'm also going to take it all the way in to my eye. Now using my large blending brush, I'm going to blend that in. Okay, so when that is done, I'm going to take this color right here. And it's kind of like a pinky brown gold metallic color. And I'm just going to put that on in the middle of the lid and into the eye a little bit. And this is just going to bring light into the eye. Okay, now Olivia always has really, really nice eyeliner. And I think this is what makes her look really pretty, but it's not an eyeliner that's like a cat eyeliner, it kind of stops and then just slightly wings up. Okay, so I'm done with the eyeliner. I think it's really cute this way. I'm gonna try this more often. Anyway, so now I'm gonna add mascara. And she has super thick eyelashes. And I don't know if they're fake, the ones that she uses, but um, I'm not gonna use fake ones. I'm gonna use a really thickening mascara. Basically what I'm doing right now, I'm just combing out my lashes because um, some of that liquid liner can get trapped in your lashes and then it can make them look clumpy. So I'm just going to comb that out and I do that by using this brush. So once I've combed my lashes out, I'm going to use um, the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras because the brush is like super, super thick. I did actually notice that she does have some brown eyeliner on, so I'm going to put um, this brown eyeliner and I'm just going to take that in my waterline and right underneath my eyes. And just to set that eyeliner, I'm going to take a dark brown um, eyeshadow right here and a small, small brush and I'm just going to go over that eyeliner. Okay, so we're done with the eyes. 
So I'm gonna use the um, a blush that looks like this, and it's from Elf, and it's like a peachy pink, and it does have some tiny, tiny shimmers in it. So I'm gonna apply that, not really on the apples of my cheeks, because she wears it more up here. And her lips are always pretty nude, um, but in the photo that I have, they are a little bit more pink. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this lipstick, and it's a pinky beige lipstick, and I'm just gonna dot that on my lips, just like that, just to give it like a little bit of color. So I'm gonna take this gloss, and this is a pretty nude gloss. It's by Sephora. It's really, really pretty. It's like a nudey, pinky nude color. And I'm gonna apply that on my lips. Alright guys, so that is the look. I hope that you enjoyed it. And, um, you know, it's really pretty and it's cute and I really like it. And feel free to send me uh, other requests and if I um, know how to do them or, you know, if I have like good advice for you guys, then I'll definitely do the, do the video. So I hope that you liked it and um, I hope that you guys can all achieve this look at home and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye.